Hello, my darlings. It's so good to see you. I have just received a new book from the library and I'm going to perform it for you right now. So get comfortable. It's time for... Once upon a time. Our story today, my darlings, is Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, an award-winning book by Judith Yost, uh, illustrated by Ray Cruz. I myself have had terrible, horrible, no good, very bad days, my dears, and I'm sure you might have too, but you know what? It always gets better. Yes, it does. And we just move on. Yes. Now, if you have the book, follow along, and we're going to let Alexander tell us all about his day. Let's turn the page and see what happens. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard. And by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, my darlings, he's already off to a terrible start, isn't he? Oh, let's see what happens at breakfast. Turn the page, yes. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. Poor child, he's got a terrible face on him. How do you do that? <laughs> In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said, I was being scrunched. I said, I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, this poor young man. Oh, let's see what else happens, my dears. At school. Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. Oh, my darlings, he's holding a blank piece of paper. I guess that's his invisible castle. Yes. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. <sighs> I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. 
I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream pot falls off the cone pot and lands in Australia. Hmm. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag. And Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds. And Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, my darlings, to watch everyone else eat dessert and not have it. Oh, that's a that poor boy. Poor young man. Poor young man. That's what it was. Because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. Hmm. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And, and while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy and <laughs> then, then when I started crying because of the mud, <laughs> Nick said I was a crybaby <laughs> and while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. <laughs> I'm having a terrible... <laughs> Horrible, oh, no good, very bad day. I told everybody. Oh, no one even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. Oh, my dears, he's, he's quite upset. How much more is this poor young man going to have to put up with? Oh, my dear, let's see what else happens. Oh, when we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine. But I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk. And I was careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said, don't fool around with his phone. But I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, my darlings, look at this, my dears. The blinds are all askew with the, there's dirt all over the floor. He's knocked over the plant. Oh, oh, my goodness, there's ink all over the desk. And mother and father do not look happy, no. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate limas. There was kissing on TV. And, <laughs> I hate kissing. Ugh. My bath was too hot. 
I, I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain. And I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. Oh, I hate my railroad train pajamas. Oh. oh, my darlings, it's terrible when the bath is too hot. and Oh, it hurts when you have soap in your eyes and his, his marble went down the drain. Oh, but I, I do like his railroad train pajamas. I think they're rather cute. Oh, yes, don't you? <laughs> When I went to bed, Nick took the pillow he said I could keep. And the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out. And I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It's been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Even in Australia. The end. Oh.